Hey guys, I'm Brady and you're watching 1MS TV. Now in today's episode, this is for the theater enthusiasts like myself. Why spend thousands of dollars when you can get a wide angle lens and try and put it in front of your projector, right? That's what I had to do. I had to go through a lot of websites to get half an answer and a lot of the times, you know, people were trying to tell me that I have to spend thousands of dollars in order to get an image of like a 2.351 range that won't do I mean you know I live in the real world and you know we all have bills and mortgage to pay and what have you and the last thing you know a customer wants to do is drop that kind of coin especially watching movies right but in any event what I'm about to show you guys is basically pushing the projector back by adding on the wide-angle lens without physically pushing the projector away. So that we're clear, it's not um, changing any format, you're not squishing anyone's heads or anything like that. Sweet! All right guys, allow me to introduce the magic behind the curtain. Well, here are some of the specs. Please be advised that I no longer have the back lens cap, so in this demonstration I'll be using the front lens cap and I will not be cutting it, so please keep that in mind. Alright guys, let's get started. You're going to need three things to get started, which are an exacto knife, duct tape, and an old piece of headphone wire. Also, take the time to see if there are any scratches on the lens, front and back. Alright guys, let's just say for argument's sake that this is your main lens. And to make things a little bit easier as well. Now remember, our goal here is to make your main lens look something like this. The first step, which is the most important, is to make sure that when you're cutting, to take your time. It's very imperative that you do so. And not to mention, you'll thank yourself for doing a great job. The next step, which is just as important, is to make sure that when you're cutting the duct tape, you don't want it too wide, only enough to cover the seam. And here's why. When you're installing your wide angle lens onto your main lens, you do not want the duct tape too tight. You just want enough to have some play to it so that when you are focusing the image onto your screen and or wall, you have just the amount of play to it. Now that you have the lens cap cut out, just flip it inside out. When you're applying the second piece of duct tape, make sure that it is wider than the first piece in order for it to have a nice snug feel. Finally, cut a piece of wire and make sure that when you're wrapping it around the wide angle lens to tie a knot on it so it's secured. And then find a secure spot onto the projector to anchor it. And there you have it. At the end of the day, if you know you can record through a wide angle lens, why not project through a wide angle lens, right? Because a lot of the websites out there, they make you want to feel that you have to drop tens and thousands of dollars in order to get this clear crystal image. And really and truly, it's, it's up to you. Yes, you guys, it's up to you to feel what is sharp or not, right? Because everyone has their own opinions. I'm just giving this information to give you options, right? So if you want to watch 16 by 9 image, it's gonna blow it up. I'm just giving you the tool in which to get that image. Well, all right guys, that pretty much sums it up. I hope I at least connected to one of you guys out there in terms of getting a 2.351 range. Uh, I know it could be cumbersome at times, you know, with all that information and, you know, you got to contemplate whether or not you got to shell out thousands of dollars in order to get an image that you want. 
at least this way this can hold you up maybe you can you know save until you get what you really want and or maybe you'll be content and you'll be happy with this and be glad that you saved all this money that being said anything that goes in front of a main lens the image will always not be a hundred percent because there's another lens going in front of that you have to Keep that in mind, it will get hot because it's a projector and it's just going to be beaming out light. So periodically it's best to change that duct tape and that is why I said to keep that wire around the wide angle lens in order not to drop on someone's head when they're watching a movie. Alright, we're just trying to enjoy the moment. So until next time guys, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe and give a thumbs up in order to catch more episodes to come. And remember guys, whatever it is that you like to do, stay crispy crunchy. I'm Brady and you're watching 1MS TV. Until next time, take care guys. Peace.